this is me Gian. welcome to my vlog we're going to one of our project sites today the main purpose of our visit is to check our covid preparedness and family muak this is our nutrition assistant Nyok Deng he is demonstrating to the mothers how to check for edema. He is also wearing a cloth mask. The mothers are sitting one meter away from each other for social distancing purposes. Their temperatures has been checked earlier and has also been asked if they came from areas with COVID-19 cases. Nyok again, our nutrition assistant, and uh, right now he is teaching the mother how to correctly check her child's mid upper arm circumference or mua. As you can see, they are a meter away from each other. This is the mother's own mua tape, which we have given to her either at facility level or community level. Now, the child is seated at the mother's lap because the child is still small but if you have a two to five year old child they can sit independently the mother's muak approach is um, also called the family muak it's a hands-off approach which is really ideal to implement right now during covid19 because you are able to check the child's muak without actually you know touching the child so as this takes around three to five minutes this would usually cause frustration on the side of the one teaching the mother how to do it properly so as you can see here deng or nyok deng has started to touch the child uh, we do not recommend this again as i've said it's a hands-off approach this is why it's very important to do supportive supervision during the initial stages of the rollout. It's around one month of constant supportive supervision, just reminding our CNVs and our nutrition assistant assistants not to touch the child. So, if you have a child that's agitated, just tell the mother to offer the, her breast. To calm down the child and then resume taking the muak. You will usually take a minimum of two muak readings to be able to determine the correct muak. Uh, two muak readings should match, and uh, so that means if you take the muak and it says 11.5, and then you take another muak, it says 11.6. And then you take a third muak and it's 11.5. Since there are two 11.5, those matches, then that is the muak reading that you should use for the child. Before this procedure is done, it is very important that the, that the, the nutrition assistant explain the whole process to the mother and ask grace and patience on the mother's child as the as this process takes an average of three to five minutes especially if it is the mother's first time to try how to check her child's muak however as we go on in time maybe maybe like two or three um visits that's equivalent to a month or two the mother would confidently do this procedure on her own Um, this is also a very low-cost approach for one pack of muak is uh, 5 USD and there are 50 pieces of muak tape in that one pack this approach is ideal in communities where you have a minimal number of community health workers and also in places where you have low coverage Early detection of malnutrition can be done at household level and the mother actually can do the can check the child's muak as best as 
a nutrition action no worker or like me another mother baby pair and we are going to do the whole process again the mother is locating the tip of the shoulder bone and the tip of the elbow bone she measures the distance with the string and folds the string over to spot the mid upper arm the mid upper arm and then she will mark the mid upper arm with a pen if possible but if, if I don't have a pen I you could actually lightly mark the area with your fingernail and it wouldn't even hurt See, this is a uh, nyok demonstrating the process on a box. You can also use a soda bottle to demonstrate the procedure or a toilet roll. Just about any surface is really which is a vertical edge. The use of string is uh, really helpful if a mother does not read or write at all or yeah so in this case our muak tapes are the numbers are written in English but these people they speak Arabic uh, in this side of South Sudan because we are actually nearer to Sudan than to nearer to Khartoum than Juba Okay, so look, this is actually what we should not be doing. Like, now she is receiving. Yeah, so as you can see, now she is receiving instructions from two more people so there are now three people trying to teach this Let's mother one so there should teach. only be one person Please giving there direction to the mother and just imagine if you are the caregiver and three people new faces giving you instructions on what to do you'll be so confused and then if you are the baby surrounded by unfamiliar faces you will get anxious
because when people get frustrated in the clinic, they all want to help out. And they need frequent uh, reminders of this. Also, if too many people are crowding over one child, just imagine if you are sitting and then you have like three or four people surrounding you. What would you feel? Right? You would be scared and you don't even know the faces of these people. So that's why the child is agitated right now. The child is crying because... supportive supervision 100% change from the last time we were in that clinic so bye everyone and I'll see you again on my next vlog thank you bye bye masalama
ओके वरना शुरू एरा वाला ओके गाइस नाम जो भी एस के हम दादा को सामने सो को फ्रेंड्स ओह 